Hello, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel and welcome to my Disney Villains series that I'm doing for the month of October. It's kind of like my spooky way to celebrate Halloween and I just thought it'd be fun. Today we're going to draw Madame Mim and she is from the Sword and the Stone. I just thought she'd be a fun one and she's got purple hair and I just love her kind of evil look and her just one single tooth. So I thought she'd be really fun. So I appreciate you being here and I will link the other videos that I've done in this series. I've drawn and colored in Yzma from Emperor's New Groove and I've drawn and colored in Madame Medusa from The Rescuers. I feel like in the past couple of videos that maybe I didn't draw with you guys as dark as I should have. So today I plan on using a little bit of a softer lead pencil so that way you can really see what I'm drawing as I create this drawing. Okay, so let's just dive right in. Like I said, I'm using a 2B pencil. I have a neat eraser as well as just a kind of a regular eraser. And then I also have my mono eraser. So I like it just because it can kind of get into the tiny spots. And then I have my circle template. And then I have a little brush just off to the side as well so I can sweep away any of the eraser shaving so I don't smear my work. All right, let's just dive right in. So I always like to kind of start with just a circle. Her face is very round. So you can decide kind of on the paper where you want her to be. I'm gonna kind of put her right in the center. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna kind of lightly put in my circle and then I will kind of shore it up so you can really see kind of what I'm doing. But I'm really just gonna start with a nice circle and I'm using my whole arm from the shoulder and everything to create my circle. She's got a pretty big face. We kind of go in and then we can kind of pick which circle that we want. And then her eyes are kind of slanted. So you can go ahead and just kind of put a line in about halfway just to, as your guide. And then her nose is actually pretty close to her eyes. So you can just kind of put a little mark in there, the beginning of her nose. And then her mouth, you can kind of put down here. And then you can also draw a line kind of down the center. just so you know kind of where the eyes will be. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw actually her face features in first and then we'll kind of create the, the actual shape of her head. I can zoom in just a little bit. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and draw in right here just a big circle that will kind of just be her nose placement for a minute. So that way I can put her eyes in. Her nose goes up a little bit kind of into her eye line. So I'm gonna raise that up just a little bit. She has a big nose, very bulbous. And on a side note, I apologize if I sound really nasally. I'm recovering from a pretty bad cold. So one of the lines goes right here and we'll get kind of cut her eye off. And then this is the bottom of her eyeball because her cheek, it's like she's got a little bit of an evil smile going on. So you can kind of put that line in. And then her eyebrow kind of creates the rest of her eyeball shape. And then there will be a line that extends up right here. And then I make the eyebrow, it's a little skinnier down closer to the center of her face and then it will kind of flare out. And her eyebrow actually sticks out farther than her actual head but I'm gonna kind of fix that a little bit later, so. And then they're just kind of jaggedy at the ends. And then you can go in, kind of put the rest of that. It's just kind of like a half, half circle there. And then you can kind of adjust this line if you need to, to kind of bring it up. And then this one goes a little bit more than half, so I'm gonna actually put it right here for her eyebrow. And then I'm just gonna kind of put a line out for a second just to kind of be my guide. And then the bottom of her eye kind of comes over to this side of her nose. And there's another little, kind of like a little hill. And then it's closer to her, her nose. And her eyes are pretty big. Now we can actually put in the actual shape of her nose. So this little part goes a little bit past where her eye is. So I'll put that right there. 
and it's up higher here and then slants down. So it's high here and then slants down because there's a bigger gap here between the two. And it just kind of curves and then stops. And then it kind of slants down here. It makes kind of like a V shape down here at the bottom. And then she has this funny little, little smile here. So it starts up here, it's just kind of a straight diagonal line, starts almost at the tip of her nose and follows along that nose line there and then drops down a bit about to where we drew that center line in. You'll kind of stop right there and then it will curve up. Curve to kind of a straight line here and it ends about quarter of her nose over this way and then it will slant back up and then she has this little smirk line over here as well she's very smirky and then you can draw the bottom of her mouth by just mimicking the lines we already put in just leaving a bit of a gap there and then this, this side doesn't go all the way up there, goes a little bit past this little mark right here. And then you can bring it down diagonally to meet the rest of it. And then she has like a, just one tooth about right here. And then she has a big old chin, starts almost to the corner of her mouth there. And it goes diagonally out as well. And then it just rounds out like that. Now we can kind of put in the shape of her face now that we know where her actual facial features are. So her hair almost touch. Oh, I forgot to put the rest of this eyebrow in. Again, it just kind of jaggedy. There we go. Where her hair starts right here, if you draw a straight line, it goes about halfway, not quite half, it's more like a quarter of a way from her eye, so we'll bring it right up here. It's almost basically where we had drawn that line straight through, and it just kind of like a little bang she has. It gets cut off by her eyebrow, and then kind of flares out, and then just sweeps around. You can see where the point of it is, and it also matches up almost, it's a little bit past where this part is. So you can bring it in past that and then just have it in kind of at the end of the paper here and then it will go back up there's another little swoopy there you're just following where you've already kind of put the hair in I think I drew this a little bit bigger so I might lose a little bit of that hair over here and then we can draw this side and it also gets cut off by the eyebrow you can kind of lightly sketch it first and it goes out fairly far for her cheekbone and then rounds off and then kind of goes not all the way matching this little part of her chin and then continues down here and then kind of squares off here. This is her neck and then this is like her shirt. And I think I'm going to bring this a little bit closer over here and then her hair flares out over here as well and then goes not quite back to her face but you can follow that cheek line there and then right about in the center of her right eye there's a little stray hair if you will she's got like a mad scientist hairdo looks a little frazzled and then if you go straight up from this part here, she has these little baby kind of crazy hairs kind of facing a couple different directions. And then from there, you can just kind of go back over and finish that other side. Like I said, I'm, mine's going to be cut off. Oh, sorry. There we go. Sorry about that. 
So we went up here and then we can put in her shoulder. And then this is just kind of like the sleeve, like the seam of her shirt here. And then we can put in her other shoulder. And then this is kind of like part of her shirt as well. And then we can put in her, her eyes. I'm using my circle template again. And this pupil is a little closer and it's not a full circle. It's cut off a little bit. do the other side as well and it's also close to the corner here and neither one touch this bottom line here so then you can kind of take a look at it I think that this side here got bigger than it needed to so I'm gonna bring that back over here where I had it and then I can bring this even a little bit closer I think so yeah, that's why we kind of usually will sketch it a little bit lighter so that you can go in and correct anything without having a really harsh line. A lot of times, like I will sketch, I've already sketched this out and then I put it on this paper by using my light box. So I have more of like a pristine drawing without having a bunch of erase marks. So when I go in, I'm going to use alcohol markers for this one. Then I don't have all those pencil lines showing through it. Kind of messing up the paper by erasing it so much so that's a little tip for you kind of draw it out first and then you can just trace it onto your good piece of paper but yeah now i can go in and fit in a little bit more of that hair because i made some adjustments there we go and then i won't put her little bitty pupils in i called the whole eyeball a pupil but this is the eyeball obviously and then the pupil because i'll just go ahead and color this whole eye in first and then color in the pupil with a black Posca pen. But there we go. So then you can just go through, like I said, I always kind of use a brush so I'm not smearing my pencil lines. You can use whatever eraser you want, especially if you're just gonna trace it. So if I am gonna end up tracing it, I'll just trace over this with like a black Sharpie, just so I can actually see it through the light box. But then you can just kind of erase all your little lines. I like to use all different sizes of erasers. It makes it a lot easier to get into some of those little nicks and crannies. Yeah, I won't bore you with erasing all of it. And I did make her a little bit bigger, but that's okay. You know, you can always, like I said, make adjustments. If I want to kind of spread this up a little higher then I can. But yeah, there's our Madam Mim. So join me in part two, where we are going to color her in. And like I said, I'm going to be using alcohol markers. Feel free to use any supply that you want to color yours in. And I hope you will join me for part two. So I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye.